Picks and Parlay family, it's me, Detroit Lenny, here joined with Sniper West to talk some college football for Saturday, October 5th. We're going to talk Miami and Cal, Golden Bears. Uh, before we do that, you guys are going to like, share, subscribe, use the promo code below, save yourself 20% off everything at Picks and Parlays. Dot net, including Sniper West's premium plays, best bets, all the good stuff. Subscription packages are over at the website over there. Wes, uh, you're going to talk Miami and Cal. Uh, Miami minus 10 and a half on the road. Uh, number eight, eight ranked, I should say, Miami Hurricanes. Put some respect on their name as well. Uh, Total is at 54 and a half. What are your thoughts, uh, Sniper West here? What, what, I mean, I know you're an L.A. guy. I mean, is that transferring to Cal or what? Well, we don't really like a NorCal. They ask that okay, fair. Cal, we don't like now. them. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a SoCal guy. But um, fair, all that my bad. No disrespect intended. I know <laughs> you guys could get a little territorial about NorCal, yeah. SoCal. So I don't want well, to. Well, I mean, yeah, especially the, the Giants and Dodger games. You don't want to be in the parking lot wearing the wrong jersey. Let me tell you what. There's been some bad stories out here. But, um. Fair. All that being said, we're we're talking some college football here, and uh, so Cal is three and one, and Miami's five and zero. Oh. Miami's been very impressive; um, they're the number eight team in the country, and um, but they really haven't played anybody. They did beat Virginia Tech last week, but they barely beat them. They were you know big favorite. They only beat them by four points, and Virginia Tech is not all that good. So that you know maybe they were just not really up for that game, which probably you know could be the case. Cal they're off a really bad loss. They lost to FSU 14 to 9. Um any other year losing to FSU, you know, Florida State wouldn't mm -hmm. be so bad, but you know, FSU is just terrible this year, right? And right. they lost 14 to 9, so it was kind of an ugly game too. But um you know, they did have an impressive 21 to 14 win over Auburn and obviously Auburn's an SEC team, so anytime you beat an SEC team as, you know, Cal, well Cal used to be in the pack but now they're, in, you know, the Big 10. Right. But um, you know, that's impressive. You beat an SEC team. If you beat any SEC team outside of Vanderbilt, it's always pretty impressive, right? Um, but Miami too, you, you got to remember Miami's traveling to California here and they don't travel to the West coast. I mean, I can't remember the last time Miami ever traveled to the West coast for a game. So, you know, they might have a little bit of jet lag. They're unfamiliar with that. I'm accustomed to it. So I think Cal, you know, it would be huge for this program if they can upset the number 18 in the country. I don't think they're going to win the game, but I do think they hang tough just with the travel in Miami and um, Cal's going to be up for this game for sure. They're coming off a loss, so they're going to want to rebound and they're playing a big time program. So right. I like Cal. I'm going to put the points in my back pocket. I think they hang tough. Wouldn't even mind a little sprinkle here on the money line, but we'll just for purposes of the video, we'll go Cal plus the 10 and a half. There you have it. For the purposes of the video, we'll put those points in our back pocket, but we might throw a little dice on the money line just because, uh, just because from Sniper West, Cal Bears plus 10 and a half. Don't forget to head over to picksandparlays.net. Use the promo code below, save you money. That guy will make you money right there. You can find Wes on any given leaderboard at any given time. Head over to picksandparlays.net. Get some of Wes's premium plays, best bets over there. Remember, a little free action for you, Cal and the Golden Bears Saturday night. Good luck, everybody, unless you're against us. Take care, folks.